Hey guys, this is part one of my tutorial for streamers on how to set up Imposter's Bitsy mod. Uh, the Bitsy mod is used in conjunction with some maps in StarCraft 2 that allow you your Twitch chat to have various things happen during the game using commands, which is really cool. So when you download the mod, there'll be official links in the description of the video of where you can download that. And you'll get some files that look a bit like this. To start the mod, we'll be using this application file. And feel free to create a um, desktop shortcut if you like. We'll go ahead and open that up and see what it looks like. This was made in Unity. So today, in this video, we'll be going over the enter information. And I'll have other videos for the mod options and debugger. So you'll see there's two primary things that the mod needs to know from you to get this to work. We'll go over to the Twitch channel name first because that's the easiest. So bring up your Twitch channel. And as you probably know, in order to get there, you can click over here and click on your channel. That'll take you to here. What it wants is this last little part with your little username. So you'll copy that and paste it into the Twitch channel name field. Next, we'll be wanting the bank file path. Now, bank files are just text files that um, StarCraft II can create. And in the past, uh, map makers have used them to store information between play sessions or between maps. So if they have a special hero on one map that maybe you completed a bonus objective, they'll give you a special ability in the second map or something. But in this case, I'm using it to communicate between this program and StarCraft II, the map. So to find this, the easiest way is to go ahead and open up StarCraft II. And we'll actually open up the uh, one of the Bitsy maps so that it'll create that te initial text file on our computer so we can find it more easily. Right, almost there. We're going to go over to custom at the top, go over to melee. In this case, I'm looking at my pu published. There'll be more of these maps in the future. For you guys, you would go to something, one of these, and just search for Bitsy, and you would find it. Right now, these are hidden, so I can't search for it. So I'm just going to my published, so I'll go and create a lobby. Go ahead and start the game. And then as soon as it starts, I can go ahead and exit out. Wait for the long countdown. I don't know why Blizzard makes such a long countdown to build suspense, I guess. All right, now that the map has started, this map will have created the text file on our computer called the bank. So we can go and quit. The little 20 message was just a test thing I put up on the map. Get rid of that later. All right, so I we'll want to go to our documents then uh, StarCraft 2 once we're in here we can do a search for imposter bitsy we'll see it's right here we can go to open file location and then this is the path that we want to copy and put into our mod Now that we have all that information, we can go ahead and hit connect to Twitch. All right, it says we're now connected to Twitch test guy StarCraft. So you'll see here that our little bot made a little message. Thanks for using Imposter Bitsy Mod by Imposter Game Studios. I got a link to my Discord if you have any specific questions about the mod. 
that's probably the best place to reach me and get support on it. And you'll probably want to go ahead and click on the bot and give him uh, mod powers. Forget where you do that. All right, leave. He should have mod powers now. And yeah, that is the uh, basics of starting up the mod. Um, you'll be able to uh, go and try using a invalid chat command just to show you that everything is communicating. Because one thing we'll go over later is with the debugger it'll show us if we use incorrect commands or if someone else used incorrect commands but yeah so that's the initial setup then you'll just start one of the uh, bitsy map mods and but before you do that you'll probably want to learn a bit about the mod options and how to use those so go on over to the next video and check that out thank you for watching bye